topic is going to be about uh, a manager versus a consultant. Okay. Now, a lot of people get these two mixed up. All right. Some people say some artist talent or whatever, they say they need a manager, but what they really need is a consultant. Okay. And sometimes it's, it could be vice versa. So it really, really depends. So what I wanted to do uh, with this particular ex, uh, episode is to uh, just break down what each one means and how, uh, what it entails, those roles, what they entail, as well as to, to give you advice on which one you really need. So for example, um, I get just with me owning the baseline group. And for those who don't know, let me go ahead and state what the baseline group is before we get into the topic. The baseline group is a brand management and marketing agency based here in Chicago. Uh, we pretty much help uh, independent artists, visual artists, recording artists, venues, uh, record labels uh, with developing the brands of their artists or their their company or business, um, as well as developing a marketing strategy to um, basically in increase their, their brand awareness um, and to get them some money coming in because that's so important. Um, definitely, that could be the next topic I talk on, how important it is to market, but we'll see. So um, that's what we do at the, at the Baseline Group. As of January 1st, just to put this out here, the Baseline Group will be transitioning into an artist or talent management slash development company, okay? Just to let folks know. Now, as far as the digital marketing piece goes, I am still doing digital marketing services um, that is still available um, as myself, but the Baseline Group will strictly become a talent management and development agency. So I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there. So this topic comes right on time <laughs> uh, with the transition that we're certainly making. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Manager. Basically, a manager manages. That's the, the best way to put it without going into the dictionary and reading to you what that book says. Managers manage. In order for a manager to manage, you have to have something for them to manage, okay? Now, you may hear this a lot um, just by doing a search on YouTube, but for some reason, people still don't grasp that concept. So you have to have some stuff going on in order for them to manage, okay? Um, I mean, whether it's some press mentions, whether it's uh, uh, show bookings, uh, sponsorships, brand partnerships, all of that. You got to have some things going on that is you've reached to the point where it's just too much for you to juggle. Okay. It's just completely just way too much for you to juggle. This is where that manager comes into play. Okay. So this is why you need a manager. Now this manager, what makes them a good manager? Well, for one, they have to have some management skills, meaning that they're able to juggle a lot of things for you on your behalf. One person um, that I'll give him a shout out, W. Tyler Allen, um, on Twitter. He's a marketing, music marketing consultant. Um, and we've chatted a couple times here and there. But he had wrote an article, and I may include the link. I, I, I may if I can find it. But he included, he wrote an article that detailed uh, which role a person should have on your team as an artist. And that manager is like the quarterback, all right? That manager has not only connections, but if they don't have connections, they know how to make them <laughs> and make the right connections. Um, and they're able to build the build the business. They manage all the, the missing pieces, fill those in as well as any other pieces that you got going on. They manage that. They are the quarterback of your team. So, I mean, and your team can consist of the graphic designer, web designer, your PR person, a publicist and a manager, two different people. OK, so that's another topic. But those are two different people. Uh, so these roles can like I mean, they can get really diverse depending on how big your brand and your business is as an artist. But your manager is the quarterback. All right. They find your business, uh, your business manager, which is your accountant, the person that handles all the funds for you. They find your attorney and they manage all of that. All right. So we got to. Think, I mean, that's the best way to put it. When you think of like a corporation, 
or even the store that you attend, that you that you visit, Walmart, you have a manager of the store. You know, when you complain, what happens? Let me speak to your manager. You, you have someone managing all those little pieces. OK, you have someone managing the people that's helping you run the business. It's the same concept. OK, whereas a consultant, a consultant isn't someone you can say that they're a part of the team. But keep in mind that the consultant is just someone that you hire on a temporary basis. OK, you're hiring them to consult them on whatever issue that you may be having, all right? So you have uh, so many different consultants out here. You have a, a marketing consultant, a brand consultant. You may have a, 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 a singing coach or a singing consultant, songwriter consultant. I mean, consultants, I mean, it, it, it's very diverse. So this consultant is someone that you hire on a temporary basis okay you consult them on whatever their expertise is okay and that's really the difference that's the biggest difference a manager is a part of your team you've basically hired them to be kind of like i don't want to say full time but i'm just trying to put this in a way that you know make it easy for people to comprehend but that manager is assigned to your company your business your brand they are the manager they are the quarterback of your business while you're the CEO. Whereas a consultant is just someone that you bring on for a short term project or just, just for a short amount of time to consult you on whatever their expertise is. Okay. Now, now we covered that they're paid differently. Let me go ahead and get into that. They're paid totally different. Okay. Manager. This manager, he or she gets 15 to 20%. It, it really depends on what you guys negotiate. I've heard anywhere from 10 to 25%. They get a percentage of anything you have coming in, okay? They get a percentage. That's it, all right? Whatever you got coming in, that's what they get. They get that percentage, that cut right off the top. Before you pay out any expenses, they get a cut right off the top. All right. Whereas a consultant, on the other hand, you pay them whatever their rate is for consulting. You pay them up front. They don't get a percentage. They're not signed on to a long term project or a long term uh, contract with you. They're there for that short period of time and whatever they charge is what they charge. So you have to come out of pocket and pay them for that. All right. So that's the difference. The big difference. The manager gets a percentage. They get a cut of whatever you have coming in. All right. And like I said, it can be anywhere from 10 percent to 25 percent. Those are the norms. Um, whatever you got coming in, whereas a consultant, you pay them that fee of whatever it is that they charge to consult and develop you. All right. Now, that's the big difference between the two. Now, as far as which one you need, it depends on your situation. I have a lot of artists come to me saying, hey, I need management. Hey, I would like to work with you. Are you accepting any management? Well, first thing I ask is, what do you have going on for me to manage? That's the first thing. A lot of them say nothing. I'm building my team. I'm doing this. And that's fine. You can certainly build your team and and, and, and build people, um, build, your, build your base of, you know, your core people that you want to work with. That's perfectly fine. But that doesn't mean you need a manager. You don't need a manager yet. When you think about a manager, they get that cut. So if you're not bringing anything in, how are they going to get paid? If you're not getting paid, you're not bringing any money in, a percentage of zero is zero. So you don't need a manager just yet, unless, unless they just love you to death. <laughs> unless they just love you to death to the point where they're willing to work for free until you get the money coming in. All right. But again, they have to see the potential in you. You have to show them something, okay? You have to show them that you are out here grinding. You have to show them that, hey, the money's coming because you are grinding. You're putting in the work. You have some music that's released. You got shows lined up. Even if you're booking them yourself, you got some things going on to the point where they say, okay, you know, they're making some moves. Not, not if you just at home, you know throwing up some videos online and expecting to get discovered that way. You don't have anything going on. All right. You know, so you got to show the initiative that you take this seriously 
you know, that you take this seriously to the point where they say, okay, let me help you. Let me take you to the next level. All right. So even if you don't have something going on, you got to have, you got to be out here moving. And they always say a manager, you don't seek out a manager, a manager will find you. And that's what they mean by that. They, they mean that you have something going on and you have so much going on to the point where a manager say, hey, I can, I see where I can fit in, where I can help them manage all the moving pieces that they're managing themselves to free you up to do your music. All right. So before you say you need a manager, you have to look and see what exactly you have going on. All right. Now, as far as a consultant, you can hire a consultant whenever. People hire me all the time to consult on their project, whether it's a brand project, their photo shoot, uh, whether it's their social media. That's my top one. I get a lot of people reaching out to me to consult them on how they can increase their followers, how can they increase their engagement and build their online presence. That's my number one um, topic or you know, thing that people will hire me to consult on is their online presence and their in the whole digital marketing. So you can hire someone as a consultant and you just pay them your fee, pay them their fee, whatever they charge. They don't get a percentage. They just get whatever it is that you, whatever it is that they charge. That's what they get for their fee. Okay. So let's say you're an artist and, um, you got a project coming up. You're trying to get your project, you know, together. You're recording, but you don't know how to roll it out. Maybe you don't need a manager. Maybe you need someone that you hired to, to develop a rollout strategy. Maybe you need someone um, that you can hire to uh, build a campaign or even implement the campaign. That's where that consultant is at. That's where you. That's when you hire a consultant. Whereas a manager, you know, they they doing the thing. I mean, they're they're assigned to your project. And they get a cut of whatever it is you're bringing in. So that's where the difference comes in. So like I said, as far as which one you need, it depends on where you are in that situation. Just hire Patrice. Say that, Rusty. Say it. <laughs> Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Uh, but yes, exactly. You have to think about where you're at in your career. All right. If you got a lot of things going on, like let's say for me, I have a lot of things going on. So I may hire someone over the summer. I brought on an intern. OK, because I have so much going on. I need the help. You as an artist operate the same way. You have so much going on where you need that manager. And like I said, they get a cut. Whereas a consultant, maybe I don't have much going on, but yet I need I need to consult someone on my website or something like that. That's when I may reach out to Russell Wimberly that's in the comments. Uh, definitely check him out. He owns a company that does web development. Uh, definitely hit that button and holler at him if you need some, uh, some web design. So if I have a short-term project, let's say I just need some web, uh, a web design, you know, I'll reach out to my web designer. If I need graphic design, I'll reach out to them. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm hiring them on. But I'm just reaching out for to them for that one time, one off project. That's that's essentially what a consultant is. So, again, it depends on your particular situation as far as which one you need. I just ask that you be honest with yourself. Also, mm -hmm. be honest with where you're at. A lot of artists, man, they just say, yo, I need a manager. I need a manager for what? For what? You ain't there yet. You ain't there yet. You know, so definitely be honest with yourself. And then when you when you bring on a manager and when you get to that point or even when a manager reaches out to him out to you, be sure to ask them the hard questions. OK, you have a lot of people that say that they're managers, but they don't know how to manage things. They don't have an understanding of the business. They don't know anything. OK, be sure to ask them the right questions, because, again, they get 15, no, 10 to 25 percent, whatever you guys agree on, they get a cut of whatever you come in, whatever you got coming in. So be sure to ask them the hard questions. Ask them who have they worked with? Uh, what have they done? What accomplishments? What's their background? Um, what What's their specialty? Ask them about their negotiating skills. Ask them what how they can help you and take you to the next level. 
Okay, definitely ask some questions because you have a lot of people out here that's just having their cousins manage them or their relatives. And it's like, you know, I would never hire a cousin or a relative to manage me unless that's what they do. <laughs> unless that's just what they do. Outside of that, I wouldn't do it because this is my career. This is your career. You're putting your career in these people's hands. So it's like, yo, ask them the hard questions. And if they're really serious about their shit, they will have no problem ask, answering those questions for you. Okay? They're not going to stutter. They're not going to say, oh, well, 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 this, I've worked with such and such. And when really they just took a picture with somebody, they're not going to have a problem answering those questions for you. All right? So just be smart about it. Be strategic with it. And keep in mind the difference between those two. Okay? Now, I'm not saying this to say that you can't, you know, get a manager when you don't have anything to manage. As long as these are things that you guys have agreed upon and you work together, okay, and you form that bond and that unit to grow, that's perfectly fine. But again, you got to have something for them to manage. So for the hobbyist, you don't need no manager if this is a hobby for you. <laughs> I'm going to just put that out there. You don't need a manager if you in the bedroom churning out music and you out here just killing it and you're performing at the wedding receptions for your family members or at school. No, you don't need a manager. If this is your career, okay, and you're treating this like you treat your full-time job, then you then consider a manager, Okay. Then you start thinking about manager and hiring and consulting on. Then you think about it, okay? So that's pretty much all I wanted to go over. It is hot in my bedroom. Well, I mean, it's not my bedroom. It's like the second, my office, I should say. But it is hot in here. And these lights are like, ah! So with that being said, um, anybody have any questions? I see I got a couple people watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, this is Patrice K. Coakley of the Baseline Group. Uh, be sure... To follow me here on Facebook, I am on Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube. These videos will be posted on the Baseline Group YouTube page as well. So, yeah, be sure to follow me everywhere. Any questions, any questions, feel free to drop me a comment or I'm just signing off, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but definitely go ahead and, and ask a question. This is your time. But like I said in the beginning, um... Just give people time to type it out if they're asking questions. But as I said, at the beginning of the year, Baseline Group will be transitioning into a talent and artist management and development company. Okay. Now, as far as the digital marketing piece, a lot of people have asked, the people that I've you know shared this with, hey, you're not doing social media anymore? You're not doing digital marketing? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am. Okay. That's still a service that I offer as a consultant but as far as the brand the baseline group we are transitioning that into an artist management and um development company okay so i am taking on new artists and new talent to either represent or to develop okay so if you guys are certainly interested in that feel free to check out the baseline group.com you can shoot me a message via inbox i may I mean, well, honestly, the quickest way to reach me, though, and to uh, submit an inquiry is through the website, thebaselinegroup.com. Go ahead and go to contact and just shoot me a message. Let me know what it is that you're working on and what you need help with. And then, you know, we can pretty much go from there. But I'm still offering digital marketing services. That's still there. I'm always going to be a digital marketer, always, because I love it. <laughs> I love what I do. I love staying on top of the trends. I love marketing in general. So that's something that I will always offer. But as I stated, the baseline group will be strictly artist management and development. Simply because, and I'll go into that just to give anybody that comes in a couple of minutes to ask a question if they have one. The reason why I transition is simply because I, I noticed that a lot of artists need development. They need help. OK, they're not at that point where they're ready to hire on digital marketing and all that other pieces. Right. They need help right now at the beginning stages. So I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and just focus on them and then just separate the whole digital marketing piece and 
allowing me to work with other people outside of the entertainment industry like I was doing before. So, yes, Baseline Group is still entertainment and talent and creative related. So definitely, if you guys are looking for representation, if you're looking to, to just grow your business and need some help, certainly shoot me a message. I am here. So again, with that being said, we went over the differences between a manager and a consultant. I do both. <laughs> like I said, it really depends on your situation. Just know that I am very picky. I am very picky because the baseline group, digital marketing, and all that, this is my job. I take it seriously. Okay. A lot of artists, they have full-time jobs and then they do this on the side. They do the music and all that on the side, which is fine. I am looking to work with artists who put forth as much effort into their art as they do their full-time job, if not even more. Okay. This is a career. All right. So I'm looking for artists that have that mindset. If you got that mindset, let's get to it. So again, with that being said, those are the differences. If you have any questions that you didn't feel like asking in public, certainly go ahead and shoot me a message and I will answer it as soon as possible. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.